Hi everybody, my name is Dennis. So this video is pretty impromptu. Um, I ran across the problem, uh, chassis intrusion or intrude, whatever you want to call it, you'll see, um, that I just decided to film on the spot before I fixed it and didn't benefit anybody. So it's kind of over there. Hopefully the sound and audio will be okay. Um, and I'm just going to show you how to fix a problem that can happen fairly easily if you make a mistake and turn on the chassis intrusion alert. So basically, when you open your case, uh, it triggers an alarm so you know somebody's been messing with it, something like that. Um, but sometimes you just get a motherboard, maybe you buy it used or whatever, and... It's already out of the case you go to start it up and you're going to be encountered with this fatal error so i'm going to show you how to fix it show you what i did and uh hopefully it'll help somebody out there here we go okay so here's the system that i've got and the motherboard is giving me a chassis intrusion system halted error message which i'll show you right here so the system boots up recognizes the graphics card okay everything is good so far and then we're gonna get chassis intrusion please check your system okay fatal error system halted all right so this is how we're gonna fix it so first we're gonna turn our system off and this battery right here this is your clear CMOS battery so we're going to remove it and we're going to wait a full five minutes. So removing this is pretty simple. You just go to this little piece here, push it until it pops up, okay, and just take it out. Now if you can't get it in there, use your screwdriver and just lift underneath of it and remove it. So I'm going to wait five minutes and I'm going to put it back in. So something else I want to just make sure I mention is make sure you turn your power supply off and disconnect the power okay disconnect the power from it and then wait your five minutes okay so I've waited the length of time so I'm going to put the battery back in okay so the battery's back in I'm just going to push it down until it clicks in place I'm going to plug in my power to the power supply turn it on and then we're going to go here and hopefully that will work okay so we're powering it back up and there we go F1 to enter the setup, so F1 on your keyboard. So go into your BIOS, find where that's at, and turn it off. Okay, so I had to go in here. It was under the uh, monitor. And if you go down to the very bottom, it says Chassis and True Detect Support. Right now it's on. I'm going to click it and turn it off. Now, here's the thing. If you get into the BIOS and you just you want to leave it on or whatever the case may be, just hit, uh, change it to the default settings, F10, save, and it will do the same thing. All right? So the one I'm talking about, so you usually it's under exit, is load optimize defaults. So you can go ahead and do that. And, or if you've made a couple of changes, like I did XMP, and I did the uh, turning the chassis uh, detection off. So you can just save changes and reset and it'll restart your computer and everything will be good to go. Okay, so now if that didn't work for you for some reason, the other thing you can do is uh, find your uh, where your connector jumper settings on the motherboard itself are. Because there's a default, okay, so on my motherboard, they're here. And um, now there's only one. One is for something else. But uh, I'm not going to tell you which one. The reason for that is you need to look it up to make sure you're doing the right one on your motherboard. Because if you do the wrong one on the wrong motherboard, it could cause you problems. But suffice to say, look at the way it's setting. Pick whichever one it is. I believe on mine it's the one nearest to the M.2 drive. And there will usually be another pin. Now, sometimes it's just a matter of taking it off, switching it over to the other side. Sometimes it means just taking it completely off and leaving it off. But you have to check your manual to verify which one works for your motherboard. Right? The default usually means that you'll be able to go in the BIOS and just set this and set it in the BIOS and everything is good. In the event that it's not, 
somebody may have changed those settings or those jumpers. So then you have to check to make sure that you put them either back to the default settings so you can do that or change it. All right, so that's just real quick how to go ahead and fix that little error message uh, should you happen to encounter it. Uh, I've only encountered it this one time, so it's not likely something you will see very often. But if you do, easy fix. Take the battery out, CMOS battery out. Wait five minutes. Make sure you've turned off the power to the power supply. Turn off the switch and just leave it. Put it back in five minutes later. Turn the system on. Hopefully it'll let you get to the BIOS after that with just the F1 to uh, run setup and start. And then that's it. So, hope that helps somebody out. If you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Hit that bell for future notifications of videos as they come up. Think about joining. i got my join button there now. And uh, stay tuned for future videos. And, um, yeah, and if you're new here, think about subscribing. Thanks for watching.